everyone, so today's video is going to be a Brandy Melville and just like other random bits haul. So I'm going to start off with Brandy Melville. And yesterday I went to London, so we popped in and I spent quite a lot of money, I'm not going to lie. By the way, some of these things might not be everyone's taste, but, but my style has definitely changed and I really like these pieces and I think I'll wear them so, so much. This is the first thing. So these are a pair of trousers. One thing I do not like about Brandy Marvel though is that everything is one size. Like, I just think that's like so stupid because it's cutting out. It's like stopping so many people from shopping there. It's just designed for one body type, which I just don't like a lot. Weird to like have a whole shop one size. Um, but anyway, this is the first pair of trousers here. These were £30. They're basically straight leg trousers with a split here at the back. I really like these kind of trousers. I think they're really, really nice to wear. And they just like, they're like the statement piece of the outfit. So this is like a gingham. It's actually like a off-white colour with the black. Um, which makes it just a lot more different. I really do like these and I think these will look so nice. They're elasticated at the waist and they have like these fake pockets at the back and yeah I really really like those also got the similar style trousers in a different print and I think I prefer these ones much more I also think Yaz Online has these trousers and I absolutely love her um so these were actually £27 which I don't know why these were like cheaper because they're, they're literally the exact same thing but in a different print again they're that like straight they're like slim fit but they're like straight down your leg and then they have this split at the back as well i definitely prefer these ones a lot more because it's just a black and, and i do have trousers similar to these they're actually from h&m and i wear them all the time but yeah i really love the material of these and i just think i wear i'm gonna wear these so so much also from brandy melville i got a little hoodie i actually have a way that i want to wear this um which i'll explain now so it's basically a white cropped hoodie like it's actually like it's a bright white it's not like a creamy white and the way i want to wear this is with like having the zip a tiny bit down and like having most of it zipped up and i feel like with these trousers as well like it could look really cool um i don't know i just think it will look really cool if you can like style it right and also it's just like a layering piece and i don't have a lot of white tops white hoodies and that kind of stuff so i just thought i'd get one anyway it's really really nice quality and it's like fleecy inside um and this this was 24 pounds which i don't think is too bad um for a hoodie like i can't figure out whether brandy melvin is like really cheap or really expensive like some of their things are really good like well priced but some of the things are like mm, really really i wasn't actually gonna get this but i was queuing up and i was like you know what i may as well so i picked up this little top here i think it's like the perfect length top so it's not super cropped so that like your whole stomach is showing and it's not like super long so you have loads of excess fabric when you're wearing like high-waisted jeans and stuff but it's this super nice material it's so so nice and like thick it just feels like such good quality um and it has like these little buttons down the side which like you can like obviously pop off and just wear it like that. I really really like this. Again I don't have a lot of white pieces of clothing so I just thought I'd like invest. This was £18 which is so, it's ridiculous for a white t-shirt, like for a white top. But... Like I said, I don't really have a lot of white tops, so I just thought I'd get that. Finally, from Brandy Melville, this is probably one of my favourite items. I just, I just absolutely love this. And I think one of the main reasons why I love it is because it looks like it could be from Tommy Hilfiger. And I bought this one in Topshop. So they had Brandy Melville in Topshop on Oxford Street. And, they, and then I also went to the actual Brandy Melville shop. Basically, it looks like this here. I absolutely love the colours in here. So it's navy, white and red. Really, really nice quality jacket. Um, and it has a hood as well. And literally, doesn't this look like it could be from Tommy Hilfiger? And it's just a really nice, like, it's not a waterproof material. It's like a cotton kind of material. This is £30, which I think is so good for a jacket. Like, could you imagine if this was from Tommy Hilfiger? It would literally be like £150, like something ridiculous. I absolutely love this. Like, red is one of my favourite colours, so I literally love that. Okay, so that's everything I got from Brandy Melville. Okay, I'm now going to show you some other things that I bought recently. So, from from a sports store i think it was jd sport i can't remember i picked up two nike t-shirts so it was two for 25 pounds so i thought i'd just do it and so i got this first one in red of course i'm literally obsessed with red at the moment and it has the nike logo there and this is these are actually men's by the way i prefer the fit of men's t-shirts because they're more like oversized i got it in a size medium and i've already worn this already and i've just worn it by like tying it up and then wearing it with like a skirt 
with like a black top underneath like a long sleeve black top underneath and then i also got the same in a khaki color i absolutely love this color as well so this next jumper is from urban outfitters um so, so it looks like this so it's red kind of speckled it has like other it has like other shades of like red in it so it's a very kind of like oversized slouchy jumper and it has this massive like roll neck turtle neck like look how big that roll neck is uh, yeah i just just really like that also excuse the how bad lighting is in this video it's like really it's like dark outside and i've got a light so it's just really weird okay so for makeup that i bought recently so the first thing i don't know if i've actually showed this i think i mentioned it in my get ready with me i did recently i got the juvia's place palette this is the magic palette and oh my gosh this is literally beautiful i'm gonna do a whole video reviewing this um palette and doing like a whole makeup look with it because it's so beautiful so i'm gonna show you it now ah! literally look at those shades they are literally stunning um this top one here looks like trophy wife like i'll give you a sneak peek here of how they swatch like really Hook. um also these greeny shades are so oh i'm literally obsessed the pigmentation of this palette is like insane oh i'm literally i just literally love this so so much another makeup thing which i'll give a quick mention to because i'm literally obsessed with it rimmel insta duo contour stick so i got mine in dark um and it's basically a contour stick on one end and then and then a highlighter on the other side this is incredible for 6.99 this is insane how beautiful that is oh so yeah i think they have three shades of this they have light medium dark obviously i have the dark one and um, i use it today it's just so pretty i absolutely love it and i think for 6.99 you honestly can't go wrong like you get like you get a decent amount of product as well and then finally a pair of shoes i've been wearing these non-stop because i'm literally up obsessed with them these are the adidas all white stan smiths and i wanted to get them in all white just so i could literally wear them with every outfit amazing so comfortable and just really love them okay so that's everything for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up that if this is the first time that you've come across my channel please make sure to hit that subscribe button because i really want to get to 5,000 subscribers thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys